got more news coming in the world of Far Cry. An unannounced Far Cry spinoff. Game has been rated. <laughs> we'll see where this one goes. Jordan Midler over VGC. An unannounced game seemingly based on Far Cry spinoff anime series Captain Laserhawk has been rated in Europe. As spotted by Game Rant, Rant Captain Laserhawk and G Warrior has been rated by Peggy. Peggy 16. Suggesting <laughs> an official reveal could be on the way. The title, which it has only received a rating for a PC version so far, is likely based on the Captain Laserhawk, a Blood Dragon remix, a Netflix animated series that was inspired by Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon. Scott, did you play Blood Dragon? Yes, I had played that a very, very long time ago oh, now. Man. And I don't I don't remember a whole lot about it other than I really liked it. And fighting those laser dragons were a little too much. <laughs> ah, too funny. The show follows a cyborg super soldier branded an en enemy of the state and struggling to find a cause worth fighting for in a dystopian society. The game sees players take part in a laser death match and compete to eliminate the most opponents. According to Peggy's rating, it also lets players purchase in-game items such as cosmetics. Well, it wouldn't be a Ubisoft game if it didn't. Press reports earlier <laughs> this year claim that Ubisoft is currently developing Far Cry 7 in a standalone Far Cry multiplayer game. This would be the third entry this year if we hear something on this one, then, Scott. It's claimed that Far Cry 7 is being made with Ubisoft's Snowdrop engine rather than the du Dunia engine used for recent series entries. The multiplayer game is reportedly an extraction-based shooter set in the Alaskan wilderness. Both titles were said to be tentatively scheduled to release in the fall slash autumn of 2025. Ubisoft has also been making numerous appointments and promotions surrounding the Far Cry brand to prepare for the series' future. Late August, or last August, Mar uh, Ubisoft Montreal veteran Sandra Warren was promoted to vice president and executive producer for the Far Cry brand. Warren joined Ubisoft in 2006 and has been involved in the Far Cry series since 2016's Primal. Scott, where is Primal 2? Uh, that's the big question for me. <laughs> Primal was such a standout and broke the mold for Far Cry that yep. I really want a Primal 2. But then, it, well, funny I say broke the mold. He used the exact same map. But well. <laughs> <laughs> it did change a whole lot else. But the other standout would have been Blood Dragon. So yeah. I really hope this uh, inspires a lot of change in Blood Dragon. We'll see. Or not Blood Dragon. I'm using the wrong term now. Captain Laserhawk. Yeah. But I really hope we see that kind of creativity come out so we see something different than far cry 6 i feel like far cry 6 is just kind of representative of stagnation it, it felt very samey right like thing i'm like yeah. okay here we go now we're a gorilla faction and we're gonna go up, but we start off as a nobody blah 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 and we get in seven has been from what we hear from the inside here and, and a couple things we've been able to source out is that you're a rich family your family's been taken and you're off to save your family, but there's like a countdown opportunity going on, so you can only save, from what we can hear anyways, certain individuals at a certain time. Who do you save over others? Like, are you going to be able to save everybody, or is some people going to die? Like, how does this work, right? Yeah. Curious to see how it goes. Curious to see about the setting. Then we get in the whole multiplayer side of it, too. Dude, do you remember the Far Cry multiplayer from back in the day at all? No, I'm really struggling to. So, I want to say it wasn't three... It might have been four had the multiplayer. Correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, I want to say it was four. I don't think five had it. I want to say it was four. But I just was remember that, being I remember on the doing beach shooting through big point. ships. And stuff. Oh, Far Cry is known for the for, their, for the co-op, right? That was one of the standout points of Far Cry is that you could have a buddy in there with you and a friend and away you go or family member. It doesn't matter. But somebody in there to go and the two of you could play, dude, literally from like start to finish the game, which is awesome because we don't get a lot of solid co-op games sometimes it's been especially in this kind of idea right where it is so story driven story focused so if you can get in there have a good time with that yo i'm all down for that so they have to i would hope bring us man if they don't bring co-op will they bring co-op in seven you have to they've had it for the they, series for so long yeah i think they they must surely i haven't played enough of six to know if it's really deep into six or if it's available at all but I think that's a it standard is. for the series now. It must be. Yeah, Nate and I actually played co-op back in the day for six, and it was a good time. Oh. Dude, it was fun, right? 
It I is. was supposed to play five with him the entire way, and I uh, never did, not once. You know, a standout for me still is New Dawn. Like I know it's like the spinoff of five. I missed that one. Man, I really, really dug it. And again, Nate and I played that too. I remember doing a, a Death from Above when well, Nate's over around here. <laughs> it was just awesome, man. It was just so much fun. And that's the opportunity that this brings, right? Like it's an open world scenario where you can kind of go in and do your own thing and take out these encampments and all these other factions and all these things as you go now getting into a seven and with us it's always been story driven obviously but this idea of a countdown man what if you screw that up do they kill oh, that off might, that person or you that might really them? be the that's that's really the innovation part for this game that might be what separates it enough from all of the others i hope well, the other part of it, too, is this new interrogation system that there have been rumors about is that you can go in and interrogate the AI, but the NPCs themselves could actually lie to you. So you can't Ooh. figure it out and they have the opportunity to escape as well. So I think Far Cry 7 is going to be a much needed addition and a change for what Far Cry fans have had in the past. We've had five. Five was OK. Like five didn't really do it for me. I, I did. I really time. liked five. Yeah, you did. eh, man. Three is still one of my favorites. Three has got to be one of the best Far Cry. Boss is a standout boss. Like the, that dude is just nuts. Off his oh, rocker, and he is yeah, fantastic. That was the perfect casting choice oh, for that one. That so was in memory forever. Dude, so good. And then then you get into four, and then five hit. But that's what I said. New Dawn, and then we get into six, and it was cool. But again, oh, New Dawn. Felt- more same here. new dawn again is one of those spin-off kind of yep so i think this the the spin-offs are definitely my solid favorite uh primal has to lead the top oh man primal we're so overdue for a primal too it would be nice to get into that setting once again it was it multiple was very cool. co-op players you oh, could have uh, what if we form a tribe and we're all running around as a tribe together that could be so much fun please I wonder then if this spinoff with Captain Laserhawk, how big a game is this? Or is it just something that's a little more tight knit and uh, just get in almost like a blood competitive situation? It it kind of reminds me of um, Gambit from Destiny, where two different teams competing to see who can get to the end or more kills first or whatever. And that could be it could be really simple, but that might be the place to try out some of these weird ideas. Yeah, they always kind of go off in this weird direction with these spinoff opportunities. 